Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another remake video. Today, we're gonna be remaking a little Uzi Vert's track, EXO Tour Life, so let's get straight to it. First things first, let's set our tempo to 155 beats per minute. And we're gonna bring in the first sound here that we hear in the track. Uh, it's within the plugin ReFX Nexus 2. I found a similar preset that sounds uh, close to the one in the track, not exactly, but close. Uh, it can be found under arpeggios and the preset is called AR Origin 1. So let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. That's pretty much the pattern right there. Let's go ahead and duplicate that. There's the pattern right there. So let's go ahead and arrange as we go. Um, what I'm going to put right here is the quick 808 Mafia tag. So I drag that in right here. It comes at the end part of this. Let me just find the spots. So we're going to pitch that up a little bit because in the track it's actually pitched up. Let's go ahead and put a delay on that. And let's put a reverb on that. So we get something like this that comes out of the intro. All right, so let's go ahead and pull in our next instrument here. And it's gonna be that uh, bell pluck sound. Create a new software instrument track. Ooh, that's not a software instrument track. Uh, this one right here. And we're gonna bring in once again, ReFX Nexus 2. And we're gonna bring in some of those plucked uh, strings. So this preset can be found under the plucked category. And we'll be using the preset bell strings or PL bell strings. Let's go ahead and draw in that pattern.
let's go ahead and duplicate that. And then the last one right here, the pattern changes up a little bit. So here's the entire pattern. I'm just going to pull up an EQ and just cut out some of those highs. So we get something like this. Next, let's go ahead and bring in our next instrument, which will be a sort of piccolo flute. That's very popular in today's music. I'm gonna create a new software instrument track. I'm gonna bring up Logic's browser, because we're gonna use the built-in one right here. We're gonna to go to piccolo, and let's just use this one right here. And let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. That's pretty much it. Let's just go ahead and duplicate that. We can add in a little bit more reverb on that. All right, that's it pretty much for the melodies and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get into our drums. So to save time, I did create a drum kit before I started recording this tutorial. I'm gonna bring in Logic's EXS24 sampler instrument, and I'm gonna bring in the drum kit that I've created for this track. And let's go ahead and start with our kick. Draw the pattern right here. I'm just gonna turn up the volume a little bit here. So there is the kick pattern right there. Let's go ahead and bring in our clap. So I'm going to duplicate this track. I'm going to title this clap. And uh, let's go ahead and bring that clap in.
Let's go ahead and duplicate this track and we're gonna bring in our snare now. Let's title this snare. So that just layers on top of the clop. Next, let's go ahead and give ourselves the open hat. Uh, let's go ahead and open hat. Then we're gonna go ahead and put in a percussion hit here. It's like a little shaker. Alright, so next let's go ahead and duplicate this track once again. And we're gonna draw in our hi hats. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky, so hopefully I can get this down fairly quickly. Alright, so let's go ahead and find that hi hat. I think it was here in this octave. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw in my pattern quickly, just like this. We'll go section by section. And here we get a little stutter sort of hi-hat hit. And it's gonna sound something like this. Maybe I'll stretch that out a little bit. So we get a little stutter right there. Let's go ahead and copy this over and work with our next section. That sounds better. Then we get another little stutter right here. Let's do something pitched down like this. All right, let's go to our next bar. Let's copy this over again. We'll layer that with a lower one here. Get something like that. Let's move on to our next bar. Copy this over again. We'll do a little stutter effect right here at the end.
Let's do another stutter here. I believe there was one. All right, so that's pretty much the hi-hat pattern right there. Let's hear how it sounds in its entirety. I'll add a little stutter here as well. All right, let's go ahead and just duplicate this across the eight bars. And uh, let's go ahead and draw in our 808s right now. So for our 808, we're gonna create a new software instrument track and we're gonna bring in Logic's ES2 synthesizer and use that 808 preset that we use. Uh, here's our 808 preset right here. We'll adjust it later on, but let's go ahead and just uh, work out the pattern. So and give ourselves an eight bar pattern because that's how long the uh, 808 pattern is in the track. And let's get to drawing that. We're gonna go to a nice low octave. So for now, I'm just gonna go with my, let's go with my clap and snare just so I can focus in on this 808. Got to solo my 808 as well. Gonna loop this section right here. Don't want that to go too high. And then we can put something here at the end. All right, so that's our first four bars. Let's move on to our next four. I'm just gonna leave those in so I get the, uh, the groove. Move on to our last two bars. Sorry, it's taking a little longer. Just uh, a little confused here what to do with the 808. Let's bring that pattern here. So there's our pattern. I think we got it down. Let's listen to that. And we're going to go ahead and adjust this actually as well. Let's pull up our ES2. Let's bring it in with all the other uh, tracks.
guys, that's pretty much the pattern right there that loops itself for the entire track. But let's go ahead and bring in this uh, effect that I kind of created beforehand. Apparently it was like a Minecraft effect. So I went and sort of looked through some Minecraft effects and I created this loop right here. So I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna actually make it louder because it looks like it's not loud enough. Uh, let's pull up the gain. Maybe I'm going to pitch this down as well. well. Let's change the processing to drums. Maybe that sounds good now. That's pretty much the track right there. If we go ahead and arrange it quickly, I um, actually don't have the arrangement off the top of my head here, but I know the drums and everything comes in after. I think this stays intact. And uh, we can throw in another one of these over here. So that's how you remake little Uzi Vert's track XO Tour Life. For you Logic users out there, I'm going to go ahead and save this entire session for you guys and place that as a downloadable link in the description box below. For you non-Logic users out there, I'm going to go ahead and export all these MIDI stems here and include all the samples that I've used in this track so you can take them and create your own remake of XO Tour Life in your own DAW of choice. If you do have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. For more good videos like this, remember to hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Talk to you all soon. Later. Peace.